How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another maybe exciting episode of Fishing With Me, D, Yang. First of all, my allergy is still pretty bad. That's why you guys are seeing me with these goofy glasses and this weird looking shirt. Yes, it is very bright out, it's beautiful out. I'm not dressed to do any source of fishing today, but I've been getting a lot of recent requests on how to fish the flooded Milwaukee River. As you guys all know, it has been raining, but today we are going to break it down to how would I uh, detect and dissect certain pools and areas what do you look for etc out on the Milwaukee River right anyways we are out here at Kletz Park here in Milwaukee Wisconsin Kletz Kletz some like I can never pronounce it and then we're gonna work our way down to Estabrook Park a lot of you guys are here a lot of my viewers are here in the local area it's beautiful out just uh yeah standing next to a dumpster yeah. enough talking let's get rigged up I'm put on my crocs and Today we're not going to wait. Today we're just going to do like a, a shore, how to dissect, look for pools, uh, and catch some smallies. And this is going to be fun. So stay tuned. Let's break this down together. And I'll see you guys on the water. Alright, so I'm just going to bring a bunch of random stuff. Um, let's just see here. Roll this up. Keep everything nice and sealed. Let's do some bass fishing. I'm excited. So as I drove past the dam, the main dam over there, um, there's a couple of people fishing the main dam and I'm sure they're catching smallies because that's what smallies normally stack up on. They stack up on the feeding source, which is the dam. All fish do that. I'm going to work my way at this back pool here. i uh, work the entire forest. I did not bring bug spray, so I am screwed, but it's okay. If I need it, I'll go back and get it. Yeah, so we're going to look for obvious stuff. Three things we're going to look for. Slow current, pools, and rocks. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Dude. I bet you there's tons of bugs here. Jeez, I got the wrong shoes for this. Oh, I thought it was somebody's hand. Oh my gosh. Should have brought bug spray. Oh, jeez. Oh, fish just swam away. So, I guess this is considered flood. A lot of you guys been, ah, there's bugs down out here. Jeez, okay. I'm gonna chill right here. I'm chill right here. Leave me alone, bugs. Got one. I she got a fish. Whoa, little guy. Whoa, whoa, chill, bro. Oh, and he's gone. Splash all over me. Cool, first fish, awesome. Got him. There we go. And I'm gonna let you run it out because you're just going nuts right now. Dang, they're so vicious. There we go. Dude, their bottom lips. And that's how you tell what to use, right? They're definitely feeding at the bottom. All right, I'm gonna let you go. You're like pissed off. But yeah, they're feeding at the bottom. I mean, they're chasing crayfish or they're doing something down there. I don't know what they're doing, but. So that's good. Got him. Jeez, why are you guys so. Take flight, man. Gosh, take flight, dude. Not the same fish, right? Nope. So in the Milwaukee River, if you could find them, man, there's a lot of like these little dinky guys. I mean, it's always fun too. I'm not complaining, but you know, it's letting you guys know it's a lot of fun when you use the right stuff. Oh, okay, okay. And again, I'm using this like beaver tail, right? Nothing fancy. Just this like reaction innovation beaver tail right here. One of my favorites on a missile bay shaky head. 12 pound test. I retired the old Phantom. I got the new Phantom X on here. So leave all that down below if you guys want to know. So again, I'm using these reaction innovation here. Just a simple beaver tail, just like that. And uh, I'm just gonna screw it on. If you guys don't know what this is, this is called a shaky head. Yeah, you just screw it on here. There's a little screw, missile bait. Size ounce, I think it's a uh, one fourth? One fourth or five sixteen, one of those. I don't know. These these just been sitting in my tackle box for a while. Yep, just screw it on there. Puncture through. Bury it. And voila, you got yourself a nice little crawfish looking bait. So let's, let's try this again, alright? It takes mad skill to do that, man. I'm not I'm not kidding y'all. I've been trying to perfect this spot for a long, long time. I got a fish. I got a fish. That feels like a good fish, guys. That feels like a good fish. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's okay. Just a dinker. 
See, that wasn't crazy. Those, uh, those fish over there. And they're so feisty right now. Choked it. This is a better fish. Oh my God, dude, his jaw is broken. Dude, that's gross, bro. I hope you're all right. All right, good fish. What about right here? Let's try right here. Got him. Jeez, it's a little dude. And they are so feisty. Why are you guys so feisty all of a sudden, man? Ah! He inhaled it. Again! Oh, it's a rock bass for life. Yeah, you were just crazy. You crazy? So these are like undercuts right here. So in a way, the water is flooded because it's never this high. Hey, look, a crankbait. It's never this high, so it's good to target these edges right here. You might find a bass or two. The other side is definitely a lot prettier. Got him. Ho ho, right under the thingy. Cool. No, my beaver tail. All right, well, whatever. Oh my gosh, chill, bro. Oh, my worst fear is for them to move like this and get a hook into uh, into your hand. They are so slimy, but yeah, fun to catch. All right, bro, you can let go of my hook. All right. All right, so again, what I'm looking at is quiet calm areas that looks good over there but i'm not gonna go over there yet. i still have all this to work i'm gonna go ahead cast this downstream and along this wall here the water's above average oh i got a bite right here Jeez, whoa i'm just talking to you guys and oh my gosh okay okay chill, 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 chill. don't don't throw my beaver tail i'm just talking to you guys and uh the tactics that i'm telling you guys you know actually work i'm not just making this stuff up again i'm just gonna cast it over there I'm gonna let it drift along this wall here. I'm just gonna twitch it. So there's definitely a lot of little ones, right? Which I'm not complaining. Numbers are fun out here on the river. They fight like two pounders anyways. So. There's definitely some nice grass here. Got them. Yeah, they're so little, but feisty. Dude, you threw my beaver tail, man. At the bottom again. Huh, who's that ugly car right there? Oh, that's my car. My bad. Right here. Hopefully it's deep here. Normally this spot's only good when it's deep. This shallow, it's pretty much trash. Hey look, somebody left a shirt here. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Cool. Yeah, it's pretty shallow. I don't know if there's any. I thought it was flooded. People said it was flooded. That's why I haven't been coming. Huh. Weird. Yeah. Nice. I thought they said the water was flooded. Oh yeah, a couple days ago. Oh. Uh, all these rocks right here. Were oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why I came. I'm like, they said it was flooded, so I want to check it out because when it's shallow like this, it sucks. Yeah, I've been watching YouTube channel, <laughs> like. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a minute since I came here, man. Yeah. But it's a lot of them. It's tons of smallies. Oh. Alright, so. Andy to Estabrook Park. There was a lot of cars in the main parking lot over there by the Bear Garden. It's always busy over there, so. I like to park back over here by the playground. Um, yeah, there should be like a little stairway around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Again, we're gonna look for still water, or pools, current, slightly calm current, and uh, they're definitely feeding at the bottom. So hopefully they're over here. Hopefully they're feeding over here. Because if they're not, then we're kind of screwed. But you guys get the point.
That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Dude, that's cool. Oh. Got him. Hey, there we go. All right. The battery died. Caught this little guy here. It's all dusty and bloody. That was pretty cool. Random. I not think they're all the way up here, but they're up here. All right, it's a long way down, buddy. You'll be all right. Yeah, clutch. All right, you guys. So that is it for today. Uh, that was pretty cool. I was at Estherbrook Park here, all the way down from Clutch Park to Estherbrook Park. The water condition over here was trash. Like it was dirty. A lot of like nasty stuff around. I only caught that one by the dam you guys see in the video. So that was okay. Other than that, the whole stretch itself was weak i look for all the pockets and everything just couldn't execute but i did have a good time in class party you guys saw in the video that was awesome caught a bunch of little guys nothing amazing but that's how i would dissect a river uh just look for obvious pools a lot of currents and stuff like that and just pitch a creature bait or a tube or anything like that in there and yeah hopefully it's a good informative video for you guys so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys do hit that subscribe button that would be awesome leave some comments down below and I'll see you guys out on the water next time.